good evening students i am niyamu chimkhana wala and i will be delivering a small presentation on ice enzymes so let's begin right so ice enzymes or isozymes as they are also called are basically responsible for two or more different molecular forms of the same enzyme which can catalyze the same reaction the different forms of the enzyme differ in either their kinetic or regulatory properties which means they can have different km and vmax values optimum ph the cofactors used nadh or nadph can differ they can have different subcellular distributions that is they can either be soluble or membrane bound they may have similar but not identical amino acid sequences the chemical properties that is their structure their electrophoretic mobilities their immunological properties susceptibility to inhibitors and their degree of denaturation will also differ so let's try to explain how did this as isoenzymes or how did isoenzymes come about there are four possibilities namely they can be synthesized from different genes for example malate dehydrogenase is different in the cytosol as that in mitochondria secondly they can have oligomeric properties that is more than one type of subunits for example lactate dehydrogenase has got five subunits creatine phosphokinase has three thirdly an enzyme may be active as a monomer or oligomer as for example glutamate dehydrogenase fourthly in glycoprotein enzymes differences in carbohydrate content may be responsible for their isoenzyme like property for example alkaline phosphatase the first enzyme to have found to have properties as of isoenzymes was lactic dehydrogenase it has five different isoenzymes as mentioned earlier and they can be separated by electrophoresis they are employed in the reduction of pyruvate to lactate in the absence of oxygen moving on how how is the distribution of different isozymes of a given sub uh, given enzyme what does it reflect again there are four possibilities namely different metabolic patterns in different organs for example glycogen phosphorylase which is responsible for breaking down of glycogen the isozymes in skeletal muscle and that of in liver have different regulatory properties different locations and metabolic roles for isozymes in the same cell the isocitrate dehydrogenase isozymes of the cytosol and mitochondria have different metabolic roles different stages of development in embryonic or fetal tissues and in adult tissues for example ldh has different properties as compared to fetal liver than that of its adult form lastly different responses of isozymes to allosteric modulators this difference is useful in fine tuning metabolic rates for example hexokinase 4 of the liver and hexokinase enzymes or isozymes of other tissues differ in their sensitivity to inhibition by glucose 6 phosphate which acts as its substrate now let's discuss what would the difference be between anaerobic and aerobic conditions as well as fermentation Under aerobic conditions, pyruvate is oxidized to acetate. It enters the TCA cycle and is oxidized to CO2 and H2. NADH is formed by the dehydrogenation of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Ultimately, it is reoxidized to NAD positives. Passage of the electrons are passed to oxygen in the mitochondrial respiration. But under hypoxic conditions, very active skeletal muscles or in cases where there are athletes and they undergo sprinting nadh generated by glycolysis cannot be reoxidized by oxygen therefore the failure to regenerate nad positives leaves the cell with no electron acceptor and the energy yielding reaction of glycolysis eventually will stop therefore nad positive must be regenerated in some other manner Let's take an example where pyruvate gets converted to lactate in the presence of lactate dehydrogenase using NADH which gets reduced to NAD positives. Two pyruvates are utilized to form two lactates therefore there's utilization of two NAD. Likewise in fermentation there's a different process. Ethanol fermentation for example pyruvate gets converted to acetaldehyde and eventually to ethanol. 
utilizing enzymes pyruvate decarboxylase and alcohol dehydrogenase respectively. Here there is formula, formation of ethanol directly from glucose. Also ATP and water is also generated. How does this reaction actually occur? As you can see from the mechanism, the process it requires zinc molecules. Zinc is at the active, active size which polarizes the carbonyl oxygen of acetaldehyde and allows, zinc, uh, allows the transfer of a hydride ion from the reduced cofactor NADH. The reduced intermediate acquires a proton from the medium to eventually form ethanol. What is LDH? LDH is lactate dehydrogenase which is also called L-lactate NAD positive oxidoreductase. It can be separated by electrophoresis. Electrophoresis is basically separation on the basis of its charge and its electrophoretic mobility. LDH1 has the most positive charge and the fastest mobility. All LDH isozymes contain four polypeptide chains, each 33,500 molecular weight and containing a different ratio of any two kinds of polypeptides. The M is for muscle chain and H for heart chain are encoded by two different genes. Examples in the skeletal muscle, the predominant isozyme contains four M chains, whereas in the heart, the predominant isozyme contains four H chains. In other tissues, there is a combination of the all five possible types. Let's take an example for diagnostic or detection of heart attack. The blood level of total LDH increases. Therefore, more LDH2 is present than LDH1. After 12 hours, the LDH1 and LDH2 amounts are nearly similar. But after nearly 24 hours, LDH1 is much more than LDH2. So this switch in the LDH1 to LDH2 ratio combined with increased concentration in the blood of another heart enzyme which is creating in kinase gives a strong evidence of a recent myocardial infarction attack. This is a table which gives us the different isozymes, their subunit constitution, where they are present in which tissue of origin and the percentage of normal serum in humans, where we can see that LDH2 is largely present as 35%, whereas LDH5 present in skeletal muscles and liver is present in normal serum in just about 5%. The mus muscles or the ones which have muscle subunit compositions are basic in nature whereas the heart ones are in acidic nature. What is the significance? As discussed, LDH1 is predominantly in the found in heart muscle and it can be inhibited by pyruvate. Therefore, pyruvate can be converted to acyl-CoA which enters citric acid cycle. But LDH5 is present in skeletal muscle and its inhibition by pyruvate is minimal, therefore pyruvate can be converted to lactate. So LDH5 has a low Km value whereas LDH1 has a high Km value for pyruvate. So upon the electrophoretic mobility as previously discussed, we can decide that the diagnostic importance for myocardial infarction is very large. LDH1 and LDH2 quantity increases in cases of myocardial infarction whereas LDH5 values are increased in cases of liver diseases. This can be seen in the electrophoresis values as well. See the B graph and the C graph. Moving on, the next enzyme is hexokinase which is responsible for catalyzing the entry of free glucose into the glycolytic pathway. It has four isozymes from 1 to 4 coded by four different genes. Hexokinase 2 found in myocytes has a high affinity for glucose, whereas muscle hexokinases 1 and 2 are allosteric, allosterically inhibited by their product glucose 6-phosphate. As compared to hexokinase 4, the properties of hexokinase 1, 2 and 3 are much similar. Let's look at a graph where we can see that the Km values for hexokinase 1 as compared to hexokinase 4 is much lower. When the blood glucose rises above 5 millimolars, the hexokinase 4 activity increases, but hexokinase 1 is already operating near Vmax at the 5 millimolar glucose concentration and cannot respond to an increase in the glucose concentration. Therefore, you can see a straight line graph over here. 
So, as previously mentioned, hexokinase 1, 2, and 3 have much similar kinetic properties. Moving on, creatine kinase or creatine phosphokinase. They are responsible for catalyzing the interconversion of phosphocreatine to creatine, as can be seen from this equation. It utilizes the formation of ADP, its conversion to ATP. CPK or creatine phosphokinase exists as three isoenzymes. Each has a dimer composed of two subunits, one for muscle and B for brain. After myocardial infraction, the first enzyme to be released within the circulation in the first 6 to 18 hours is CPK2, which increases to as high as 20% as compared to 2%, which would be the normal situation. So CPK2 enzyme is not elevated in skeletal muscle disorders, therefore this can be a characteristic diagnostic feature for myocardial infarction. Lastly, alkaline phosphatase. There are six isoenzymes of alkaline phosphatase which have been identified. It is a monomer and the isoenzymes are due to the differences in the carbohydrate content, which means the sialic acid residues. The different kinds of alkaline phosphatase isoenzymes are alpha-1 ALP, alpha-2 heat labile ALP, which means they can be degraded easily, alpha-2 heat stable ALP, which means they can stay stable in presence of heat or higher temperatures, pre-beta ALP, gamma ALP, etc. Increase in alpha-2 heat labile ALP suggests, suggests hepatitis or inflammation of the liver. Likewise, pre-beta ALP indicates bone diseases. Enzyme pattern in myocardial infarction. This graph clearly shows that in the case of myocardial infarction, the first enzyme to be released or to achieve higher levels is CPK, which is the first 6 to 18 hours. Moving on, within the first 24 to 48 hours is the release of serum glutamate oxaloacetate transaminase. Lastly, we have LDH or lactate dehydrogenase enzyme. Lastly, alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme has got two heterodimer isozymes, alpha-beta-1, which is more predominant among white American or white European population, whereas alpha-beta-2 is more, uh, more widely seen among Orientals, that is the Japanese or the Chinese population. Alpha-beta-2 can more rapidly convert alcohol to ac acetaldehyde, whereas increased acetaldehyde concentration can be a characteristic feature for tachycardia, that is increased heart rate and facial flushing which means Japanese or Chinese population have increased sensitivity towards this increase in acetaldehyde concentration, maybe because of alpha-beta-2 present. Thank you.